Hi everyone, it's Dr. A, and in this video, we're going to be talking about genetics and heredity, and we'll do this specifically as it relates to something referred to as the Human Genome Project. If you haven't yet, I'd like to encourage you to view or review the video titled Heredity, Genes, and Chromosomes as we delve into a brief discussion regarding the Human Genome Project. So let's start with a brief overview. Over the years, as scientists and researchers learned more about the topic of genes and heredity, it created a growing curiosity to know even more. So back in 1990, there was a collective effort from scientists and researchers from all over the world, with funding from the National Institute of Health and the Department of Energy, along with many others, to transcribe the entire human genome. And this massive undertaking of a project continued until 2003, and the results were published in 2006. So let's step back for a moment and define the term genome. Genome is a reference to the complete set of genes or genetic material in a cell. And remember that when we talk about genetic material or information, we're essentially referring to DNA. And DNA is a double helix structure that includes nucleotide-based pairs. Adenine and thymine, which are always paired together, and cytosine and guanine, which are always paired together. Now, what's interesting here is that there are approximately 3 billion of these base pairs that reside within the 23 pairs of chromosomes that we have within the nucleus of our cells. And each chromosome contains hundreds to thousands of genes, which carry the instructions for a variety of characteristics and traits that make us who we are. So think about it. Scientists and researchers went through the painstaking process to sift through and study the entirety of this data to help us understand what we can consider a complete map to the human body. And with this discovery, scientists have been able to link a host of conditions and or diseases to each of these chromosomes. In other words, it is possible to have your DNA sequenced, which would look like the image shown here. By sequenced, we're essentially saying that you can get a printout of the complete sequence or order of your DNA-based pairs, which could help determine if there's an increased risk to your developing hereditary conditions, and whether or not you may be a carrier for certain diseases. So here's a synopsis of some of the conditions and or diseases that have been linked to the various genes on the 23 pairs of chromosomes. The image that you see here with the bars represent each pair of our chromosomes. And towards the bottom of the image, you'll see a list of corresponding numbers. So let's identify some of the conditions linked to mutations or complications within these chromosomes. For the first chromosome, there is a known link to the development of prostate cancer. For the fourth, Huntington disease, which is a brain disorder that causes memory loss, emotional problems, and involuntary movements. For the fifth chromosome, a condition known as familial polyposis of the colon, which is essentially the inheritance of a cancer within the large intestines. On the seventh chromosome, cystic fibrosis. On the 11th, sickle cell anemia. On the 13th, retinoblastoma, which is a cancer that starts in the retina, i.e. the back of the eye. On the 14th chromosome, Alzheimer's disease. On the 17th, a form of breast cancer. On the 21st, Down syndrome. And on the sixth chromosome, number 23, color blindness, and muscular dystrophy. So keep in mind that we've only highlighted a few of these conditions and that there are a host of other conditions that are linked to these chromosomes. In fact, there are multiple conditions matched to a single chromosome. Now, to help you keep the learning going, we'll link some additional resources in the description to help you further learn about the results of the Human Genome Project. Well, thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful. And if you indeed found value in it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.